Hey guys, today I'm in Henderson and I'm at a super secret pizza place. A guy that worked at Secret Pizza in the Cosmo opened his own pizza place and they have two locations. So not the location I'm at today, but the original location they opened nine years ago. And this one has been open about two years. They said they opened right before COVID. And since Cosmo's secret pizza, that's why I'm saying this is super secret pizza. So I'm really excited to check it out and see if it tastes the same as the pizza in Cosmo. This place is called Those Guys Pies and it's close to Green Valley and Sunset. It's like right when you cross over Green Valley. Slices are much smaller when you get it as the pie. What's that, sausage? This one here is a uh, sausage, but like all the bubbles, all the bubbles. What's the, uh, you want a white pizza or you want pepperoni to start? White, please. Yeah, how do you do it? <laughs> Okay, so we got the whole pizza, but I really wanted to try the Philly cheesesteaks because the website says like that's what they're known for. And it's like the best Philly cheesesteak outside of Philly. That's what they said. So you have an option, like you, there's three different cheese options or you can do all three. Eric wanted to do all three, so that's what we're doing. Um, I never get like the whiz cheese on it, but this has it. It has provolone, whiz cheese, and what was the other one? Like mozzarella? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then I asked for mayonnaise on the side. Okay, so what is your pizza review? Uh, it was okay. Nothing, uh, like I'm not, I'm not sending home postcards about it. You know, it was, it was okay. Okay, so I feel like the, the white pizza was secret pizza-ish. It wasn't as garlicky. Besides that, I feel like there's no similarities between Secret Pizza and that. No. And then when you order the pizza, it's like smaller slices. So Secret Pizza, you know, it's like the big ones. It's like very they have doughy. In the window. Yeah. And I thought the Philly cheesesteak was pretty good. I've never had like the Whiz cheese on it. So I think that tastes different. Yeah. Oh, look, they have a Founders Coffee over there. Oh. There's a Starbucks down here. Yeah. Eh. We've had Starbucks. But you like, you know where we're going. Costco Business Center. Watch out, guys. <laughs> For those of you who have not been to Costco Business Center, it's a very different experience. Look at this. It's so creepy. You have to go like underground to get on the highway? Yeah. I used to have to do this when I lived over here Ugh. when I first moved to Vegas. Oh, thank you. It was like so far. Here we go. Oh my gosh, we're going so fast. <laughs> <laughs> now we're at the Costco Business Center. So I've been looking everywhere for the Starbucks Double Shot Espresso, like the little cans. Eric is convinced they will have them here. So we drove all the way over here. We're across from the World Market Center on Martin Luther King Boulevard. So hopefully they have them. If not, no big deal, but Eric is sure they will have them. I wanted to stop and get coffee on the way, but for some reason, Eric, Eric didn't stop. So here we are. Okay, so the Costco Business Center is for businesses to come here to stock up, which a lot of people go to Costco and Sam's Club when they own a business anyway, but like, see they have like commercial appliances. This is something you wouldn't have in a normal Costco. And then, Eric, would you say that this stuff is like more bulk, like bigger bulk? No. For sure, it's, it's much more of a, a variety of the 
Let's stop. I forgot to mention, our food was $42. So we did a small pizza and the Philly cheesesteak with ribeye, because you can do chicken or ribeye. And it was $42, I feel like that's expensive. Um, and then when you get the pizza, the slices are definitely smaller than if you just do it like by the slice, the ones in the window. Um, this is definitely a business center purchase because who else is like buying these mints, right? Like a restaurant. According to Eric, you do not need the business membership to come here. If you have a regular Costco card, you can come here. Some things I noticed, I could not buy regular Tylenol. They only had like the little pouches as if you were gonna like sell it in a store. And the girl said they don't have a big liquor selection. I was looking for Casamigos. They really only had like their, um, their brand and they didn't have much of it. I would be on the curb. I'd be smashing into that car. Are you kidding me? How are you so good at parallel parking? Look at the parking patrol guy coming. I have never seen them out here checking. I literally park my car here for hours and hours. Here they come. Eric said this white car would be me. <laughs> like that's how I park <laughs> so far from the curb. I talked Eric into bringing me to get coffee at my favorite coffee spot. Are you excited? Yeah, it's what Michelle wants, what Michelle gets. Mm -hmm. um, we've never been to Makers and Finders together. Next to Makers and Finders is the new skate shop that Ted went to in a recent video. And then look, this is new. And we're gonna go in and then we're gonna go and recycle propaganda. Hi, I'm Emily and I am the owner here for For the Love LV. We are on Main Street. We're just two doors down from Makers and Finders. We've been open since August. Uh, we are men and women's contemporary clothing a lot of fun accessories and gifts like we have these like plant pops up here we've done really great with these like bunny candles i'm holding adele <laughs> holding adele up here right now because i'm real sad for her <laughs> um, we we love carrying local makers um, we do pop-ups here first friday's a lot of fun down in the arts district one of the things we do is we carry lots of local art and we feature our local artists every other month um, in our store and we even have an art space in the back so Love for you to come on in. We're pretty new and um, we just love local shoppers. Cool, and thank you so much. Look 
Yeah. Oh, that watch your head. <laughs> Now we're gonna check out Recycled Propaganda, see if there's anything new in here. I don't know why I'm dressing like it's not winter. This thing is so thin. We're trying to find a secret bar now. This is like a day of secret locations. Okay, so super random. This is a bar and it's like a secret bar. The Silver Stamp Beer Bar. It's like way off Main Street. See down there? So this is what we were looking for. See this paintbrush? Because we're in the arts district. Our next stop is Cornish Pasty. This place is really good. I don't come here often. I haven't been here in a long time. We're not gonna eat because we're still full from lunch, but we're gonna get dessert. So I'm really excited. We know the bartender here. I don't know if he still works here. We used to always come, like he used to be our neighbor. We used to always come down here, like, I feel like a lot, but it's been forever. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I was just gonna ask if you still worked here. <laughs> okay, so these are the regular dinner ones, and the one I get, which I'm not gonna, like, order it tonight, but the Reuben. That's so good. But we're actually gonna get dessert. So they have dessert ones, and I get the apple. And we know the bartender, and we walked in. We didn't realize he would be here, and then he's like, oh, did you come for the, for the apple caramel? And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, that's why we're here. These are the earrings I got. Dessert was really good. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you next time. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And comment below. Let me know what your favorite part of the Arts District is so far. See you guys next time.